Hello and welcome to my next Let's Play project. Um, as I mentioned in Mass Effect 1, I do plan to do the whole trilogy, and I finished recording Mass Effect 1 yesterday, and I didn't want to waste any time getting a Mass Effect 2, because this is actually... Yeah, I, I'll say it's, it's my favorite of the three games in the trilogy. Mass Effect 2 is definitely the most... I think the most complete game from start to finish. Um, Mass Effect 3's, I like the gameplay and the combat better, I like the mechanics better, I like almost everything gameplay-wise about Mass Effect 3. Um, in the story and writing, I just, I find it to be much better in Mass Effect 2. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to start a new game and import, um, I guess this one. Leonidas Shepard. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm pretty excited about starting this Let's Play. Um, combat difficulty casual. Why would I want to play on casual? Um, I am not going to play on insanity. Um, I've beaten Mass Effect 2 on insanity, and it is... Insanity. It, insanity is a perfect description for it. Um, it's doable. Uh, certain classes easier than others. I've never played a Sentinel actually, so this is my first time. I'm gonna stick with Sentinel class when I get the choice. But I'm debating on if I want to do Veteran or Hardcore. Um, I'm gonna give Hardcore a shot and see how much difficulty I have. Uh, if it proves to be too tedious and just bogging down in combat and dying over and over, I'll, I'll drop it down to veteran. But um, anything lower than veteran is just not a challenge at all for me, and I, like, I prefer a little bit of a challenge. So auto level up off, subtitles on. Okay. Name Leonidas Shepard. I was level 48 Sentinel. Paragon Path. Rex survived. Ashley Williams was killed. Rest in peace, Ashley. And the council was lost during the attack. Yeah. Sorry, guys. The uh, battle for Sovereign was a little... The battle to kill Sovereign was a little more important than saving the council. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever, and still it's not enough. Humans may control the Council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Creepy eyes. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all advanced civilization every 50,000 years, have returned. To quell the rumors, the council is sent Commander Shepard and Normandy, blah, 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 and nobody can read that fast. We're going to fight Geth, and uh, Shepard knows that they're not the real threat, but the council's being douches as normal. Counselors, different, same crap. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. 
Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. This cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers!
It's going to be a rough way to die. <laughs> Suffocation out in the vacuum. And if you happen to live long enough, you get to burn up on reentry. <laughs> And that's how Mass Effect 2 starts. I remember when I first played this, I hadn't played Mass Effect 1. I was thinking I was thinking it like opened on a flashback, like that is the end of the game or something, and then you were like flashing back to the beginning, but it turns on quite differently, as you'll see. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. third party member use another 
some like pull that sets up a combo and then by then yours is cooled down then you can chain combo theirs and you can just have that's how I beat it on Insanity as an adept um, it's really I think probably the easiest class to play as if you if you know how to use the abilities um, it certainly makes the game really easy but um, I'm gonna go with Sentinel they are unique, bringing both tech and biotic abilities to the battlefield. They lack the focus of adepts and engineers. They are personnel to handle any situation. You get heavy pistols and submachine guns. So. But I believe because I'm, I've played this game multiple times, I think I can get unlock advanced training like I did in the first one. Here go with that, yeah. I think I'm going to take an ammo power because those are really helpful to do the back. Yeah, see, we, we don't have any ammo powers as a sentinel, so I want to. I think I want to take warp ammo because that's going to be good for, uh, for most situations. Shredder's alright too. Armor piercing ammo. But Shredder's really better against if you're not fighting synthetics. I'm going to take more ammo. I am a spacer, war hero, background. Alright, so now we get into the actual, well, it's a tutorial mission, similar to the one on Eden Prime in the first game. outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Steph's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now! Oh, the... Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. I know. This is a scripted event. I have time for it, trust me. I just need to say... I was going to say, um, before I get too far, I... Hurry! Find some cover! Pretty sure I mentioned it in the first game. I, I don't want to talk over, uh... Over any cutscenes, so when characters are talking or there's Damn a cutscene going the on, I'll from those canisters will generally kill you. be Get into quiet. Alright, fine, whatever. So, I will be talking over, uh... Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. I won't be talking over characters. Um, so, I apologize. Looks like they set up thing. a barricade to try holding the mechs off. I feel like people would talk a lot. Quiet, especially with this game, uh, there's a lot of talking. So I'll be talking about the combat. Individual talk. Let me set this stuff up here. Um, I want this. This three. This is going to be five. I don't even need you on the bar.
Thanks for watching.